Ikea Jam Lick. I feel like we all inherently see this fragrance as just an association with Ikea. Like anyone who smells this, it smells like the Ikea showrooms, the freaking department. You know, you know when you walk through Ikea and this is like all you can smell besides the like fresh timber, the plywood, the fabrics and the couch area. And then the Swedish meatballs are, oh, so good. But Jamlik has a very specific kind of connotation to it. When people see Jamlik, they either see like, oh, that's a comforting vanilla candle. It smells so nice. Or it just instantly reminds me of Ikea. Now, I don't know about you, but if you've ever wanted Jamlik as a fragrance you can put on yourself, not just as a candle, then this is the, then I found you because this video is for you. Now, what makes Jamlik so special isn't the fact that it's just a vanilla fragrance that's like minimalistic, it's contemporary. No. When people smell Jamlik, it creates this kind of sense of comfort. You know what I mean? It's a warming, comforting, just almost nostalgic feeling. And it has this certain kind of grip on your senses where it just makes you feel at home. It's very homey. It's a very homey candle. And at the same time, if people associate it with Ikea, yeah, I, I can see that too. Literally smelling this. It's like when you're walking through the showrooms and then they have a random stash of Jamlik just sitting there. It's like, bro, it's not the candle area yet. Why are you, why are you showing me Jamlik? Sales tactic, you know what I'm saying? Now, Jamlik doesn't achieve this by just being vanilla. I've smelled a lot of fragrances and candles that are just vanilla. And really, that's not what this is. If Jamlik was just vanilla, it would be so one-dimensional and it wouldn't have those characteristics that make it so special. Jamlik kind of has this warming, bready gourmand. It's like a cakey, warm, almost savory touch to it. It really has a strong gourmand edge to it. It's not just vanilla. There's a bit of like a really sweet, warm, freshly baked bread, almost like a cookie dough as well. There's a lot of just nondescript, warm, just bready, soft gourmands in there. And only a subtle, only a subtle amount, but that's so effective in creating this kind of aroma where it's almost like you've been baking food, like baking sweets. And a lot of people will associate that with like their childhood or just being with their parents, doing some stuff when they were, you know what I mean? And so that's one of the reasons what makes this so homey. It is vanilla, yes, but there's more to it. There's that warming aspect. And I just absolutely love Jam... Fuck, I love Jamlik. My favorite used to be Adlad. It's right over there. This used to be my favorite. This is Adlad. I've been... Oh, I've used quite a lot of this. Damn. I'm gonna just put this back. Now, I've got two fragrances I would recommend if you want that same kind of Jamlik vibe. The first one is this. This is Hugo Boss Descent Magnetic. First of all, ladies watching this. Ladies, ladies. Calm down. I know this is Hugo Boss' scent for him. I know this is a men's fragrance, but just realize fragrance genderization is just marketing bollocks. That's all it is. If this fragrance was sold in a YSL bottle marketed for women, every, every chick would go crazy. Nobody would bat an eye, trust me. It is just that sweet. It's not like woody and spicy, like, like a masculine guy. No, no. This is literally just pure vanilla bready gourmands with a little bit of a leathery tone to it. Now, the reason I choose the scent magnetic is because it manages to capture that same comforting, warm, bready gourmand. Now, when you first spray on the scent magnetic, oh yeah, I've used a lot of this. I love this stuff so much. Now, when you first spray this on, it is just immediate blasts of just this really sweet, powdery vanilla. It's a very strong vanilla. Like for most people, that's all they're going to smell. But undeniably, there's like the same bready, warming gourmand quality that Jamlik has. Now the notes is like black vanilla husk or like black vanilla or something, and then bran absolute and beninka fruit. Now the bran absolute just smells like a cakey, cookie dough, bready kind of smell. Like I said, it's nondescript, just like Jamlik. It doesn't necessarily smell like a specific food or dessert or whatever. It's just got that nondescript bready textures. You know what I'm saying? It's warming, it's sweet and comforting. And it manages to catch that same vibe Jamlik has. Now, the thing with the scent magnetic, however, is that the Maninka fruit in this fragrance pretty much gives it a bit of a fruity edge, almost like a dark tropical fruit smell. And that's gonna throw some people off. That's pretty much what disconnects this from being entirely like Jamlik. That's what makes this descent magnetic. You know, otherwise it would literally just be Jamlik. Woo, but it's not too strong. 
And in my opinion, the vanilla overpowers it quite a bit, especially in the dry down. So that's a pretty similar vibe that I would say, yes. And the next one is this. This is Eilish by Billie Eilish. Oh my God. <laughs> I love this fragrance so much. This is, this is my girlfriend's bottle. I need to buy myself one. I've got a clone of it. It's called Bajeremy Lovely. We'll talk about that in a second because there is actually something interesting to say about that. But Eilish is pretty much that same vibe. It's just that really simple vanilla, but it has that gourmandy, bready vibe that Jamlik has. And it's, oh, it's immediately vanilla, quite a powdery vanilla that is followed up by this kind of really sweet, almost sticky sugar and chocolate. And then that's where it's going to set it apart from Jamlik. There is a bit of a chocolate vibe in this that kind of smells like Cocoa Puffs, kind of smells like a milk chocolate bar. I, I say milk, wait, I know. And the sugar in this kind of gives it a cold edge. And really that's what separates it from Jamlik. That's what makes it Eilish, not Jamlik. But it just manages to catch that same vibe. And here's the thing. Um, if you watch Billie Eilish's interview on her fragrance, she literally says, how she wanted this to kind of incorporate the smells of her childhood or something where it's going to remind her of like baking with her mom or you know sweets and stuff like an edible fragrance and that's literally what it is it has that same bready cakey gourmand jam like has and i mean it's it's a match made in heaven like what the what the hell bro eilish baby oh man this in itself is just a nice fragrance in general what's good now about the Bajeremy clone, Lovely. And this is Lovely by Bajeremy. It's pretty much Eilish, but sweeter without much of that sh cold, sugary kind of freshness. In a way, it's a little bit closer to Jamlik, but there's a little bit of spices in this and a little bit more of a forward approach with the intensity sweetness, but it is very close to Billie Eilish's Eilish. The main difference I would have to say is that Eilish has more of that sugar, it's much more aerated, and Bajeremy's one, Lovely, is much more sticky, sweet, but really not by that much. That's why I would have to say the Sam Magnetic and Eilish. I'm sure there's others, but in my collection, those are the really two that kind of match the scent profile of Jamlik. I absolutely love Jamlik. I haven't lit this candle yet. I was gonna light it for this video, but I was like, I already have Adlad burning in the background. Jamlik is, oh man. I freaking love Jamlik, man. I freaking love it. Much love to you all. Peace out. Ikea Jamlik. Hope you like this video because I love filming this. This was so fun.